Now that we know everything about version 4.7, it's finally time to talk about version 4.8 banners. Make sure you have enough Prima Gems saved if you want these characters. But before we continue with the video, Clorinda and Alhatham will be coming soon. So if you want to pull for them, here is how you can save some money. This video is brought to you by LDShop.gg. LDShop is a safe and reliable game top-up site developed by LD Player Simulator. They provide top-ups for popular games such as Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and many others. By using LD Shop, you can save up to 19% on Genesis Crystals and Welkin Moon top-ups. To top up on LD Shop, simply provide your Genshin user ID and server. The process is secure and quick. Items will be delivered within five minutes. But in my case, I got it in two minutes. Currently, newly registered users will get 5% off, 2% off, and full discount coupons with which you can get 15 LD Gold discount for 420 LD Gold you consume. Besides, users registered using my link will receive another 5% off coupon. Click the link below in the description or pinned comments to get a 24% discount on all items. We've received a lot of new information about Emily, including details about her kit and weapon. We even got Emily's drip marketing today, so it's safe to say she will be the new 5-star character in version 4.8. Her design and kit are decent, but they're not for me. I'm not planning on wishing for her yet, but let me know if you will be. Emily will be featured in the first phase banners alongside Nilu. We initially thought Navia would have a banner in version 4.8, but that was because leaks didn't have information about Emily's release date. Nilu is also rumored to get a new skin in version 4.8, which increases the likelihood of her appearing in the 4.8 banners. She is also connected to the main summer event in this version. In the second phase, Shenhei will be featured. The last time Shenhei had a banner was during the Sumeru patches. Mihoyo has really kept Shenhei behind the scenes. She won't be joining the chronicled wish banner as she hasn't had more than three event banners. Whenever Shenhei appears in a patch, it usually means another cryo character is also getting a rerun. This time, it's Riothesley who will also be featured in version 4.8. It's not surprising to see Riothesley again. We haven't seen him since version 4.1. Even Nouvellet, who was released around the same time as Riothesley, had his banner ages ago. Riothesley is a favorite for many players, so if you're one of them, better start saving up now. Now for the Chronicled Wish banner in version 4.8. Rumors suggest that Mahoyo will release the Chronicled Wish banner during dry patches. If that's the case, version 4.8 will indeed feature a Chronicled Wish banner. Initially, we thought version 4.7 would include the Chronicled banner, but later realized that version 4.7 is not a dry patch. We're getting a Danesleaf quest, which is even more exciting than the actual Archon quest. As for version 4.8, we're not getting much, and just Emily's new story quest. Since version 4.8 is clearly a dry patch, we can expect a chronicled wish banner. But which region will it cover? According to the rumors, we will most likely see Li Yue's chronicled wish banner. So, characters like Yalan, Hu Tao, Child, and others will likely be featured in the Chronicled Wish banner. So what do you think about version 4.8 banners? Let me know down in the comments below. Until next time!